testing. Hello, can you hear me? Yay, can you, I can see it talking. Yeah, now I hear you, yeah. What's up, how's the volume? Is it pretty good? What's up, guys? Uh, how's it going? So, really quiet. Okay, okay, needs louder. Okay, okay, turning it up. How is that? U, U equals quiet. We'll turn it up, we'll turn it up. How's that, is that better? Needs more louder. More, more, bit more. How's that? Is that better? Okay. Yeah, yeah, more. People are still saying more. I can't. Okay. How's that? Is that, that's, that's much louder. Yeah. Okay. Good. There we go. Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, OBS, I don't know what just happened, but OBS took a massive, massive dump, uh, just like right when I booted up and like one of the cameras I have stopped working and it has been a journey to get to this place. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me. Um, we'll slowly grow as the day goes on, I'm pretty sure. Um, but cool things, uh, cool things on the agenda of today. I'm gonna see, hold on, let's let's see real quick news. Let's see if um, if any of these work. Okay, they, oh good, okay, they do work. Okay, awesome. Oh, I'm gonna make sure they're not muted. Hold on, wait, stop, go away, okay. Let me make sure these news sources are muted. Because I forgot that like last time they ended up being like ridiculously loud. Uh, it was slobs and it, dude, it, it wigged out like massively um, on me. So no idea what happened there. It was super weird. Yeah, slobs had an update, but like it updated and like just like I lost like what my roaming camera right now doesn't even work. So it just, it went, it went a little wacky. Um, welcome. For those of you guys, sorry, I'm a little discombobulated right now because I was dealing with tech issues. I've been, I started this, uh, so just to take you guys through my days um, when I run Robitech. Um, so I'm up about 5.15, 5.30. I get to the studio here right around 6 a.m. Um, and then I have an hour that I prep. And usually that prep includes putting all the news info in and all this other stuff. I have been working on this stream since 6 a.m. just to get it to work. So um, luckily I have news in, I have all that sort of stuff, which is great, but wow, what a train wreck. Uh, if Newegg is here today, I'm sorry. Uh, I was supposed to add a Newegg logo to the screen, um, but uh, with me just trying to get the system live, uh, we, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just glad that it's working. So anyway, it's up, it's working, you guys can hear me. It was, uh, you know what you yeah, I do. I definitely need sparks, guys. Now I have I have a couple things. I have I have ooh, it's gonna be a good morning. It's gonna be a good morning. I got a couple things. Um New Egg has hooked me up. So I'm going to announce the winner of the current PC giveaway. Oh, speaking of that, sorry. Mind me. Let me put this up real quick. Forgot about all that. Guys, this is sponsored by New Egg. If I had a New Egg logo I could put up real quick, I would, but they don't have if if somebody can link me a PNG for a new egg logo, like a clear new egg logo, I'd like to get one up there. Um, I just can't find one right now. Let me put this live. All right, there we go. There we go, Spark Dumps Live um, and the link to the PC giveaway. So we are going to, whoa, thank you very much for that. Eternal dropping those, dropping those sparks like it's hot. Um, today, uh, we are gonna announce the winner of the current PC, the guy who basically won. Let me put this, sorry, I'm seriously discombobulated so I can't even see in my chat because it's not. Right in front of me. There we go. Okay. So we're going to announce the winner for the PC giveaway today. We have uh, three, sorry, two Newegg 50, two Newegg $25 gift cards. And then Newegg hooked me up that if we either get 10, or I think it was like five or 10 subs, we get five or 10 subs, or we get uh, 15 million sparks, we will give away a $100 Newegg gift card as well. So we're talking about 100 bucks. It's a, there's, a, but th there's a little bit of a deal here. You give me a little, I give you a little, um, and then uh, you might walk away with uh, something pretty Superman. So yeah, no, no, we're talking not 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 resubs, guys. It's going to be new subs. Uh, the other thing too is uh, we also uh, we are officially Thursday. That's not nice, nice eternal. No, you're not late. It just started. Uh, Thursday, um, we also have some pretty magical stuff. Thursday next week, I am summoning Mount Rainier. Um, and there's an opportunity to help me. That is currently what's happening uh, down below. If you want to be and help me get to the clock top, 
Uh, on the stream that I do the next week, I will give a big thank you to all of my donors and supporters who helped me get to the top of Mount Rainier. That is happening Thursday. I'm summoning a mountain, 14,410 feet. Um, that I'm going to be summoning. Uh, for those of you who've been following along on my Twitter, you know that I've been training and stuff like that. So uh, that is happening as well. Yeah, you could call it bored. Well, that's good. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, so what is going on on today's show? Uh, well, first, run through some tech news. Uh, so we're basically going to go through uh, all the tech news. Uh, then uh, we're going to talk about the PC that we're currently building. And remember, every PC that we build on the show, we give away. So uh, this show is about teaching you how to build PCs. You can ask tech questions. You can ask tech news. Um, you can ask anything that you kind of want to do about learning about PCs. Um, I'm excited about this one because we're putting in AMD's latest uh, Ryzen, uh, 30, Ryzen 9 3900X. And then we're putting in their new graphics card, the 5700 XT. This is our third episode of, the sh of this series, so this will actually be, I think we'll finish it today. Uh, most of it will be on cable management, we'll install the graphic card, and we'll make it look that extra super sweet. So that is um, what we're going to be doing today. As well, depending on where we are in time, uh, we might, we'll of course check to make sure that it boots and all that great stuff, which will be awesome. Um, and then, you know, hey, we'll be hang hanging out, having fun, and doing all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of awesome uh, in the future uh, as we prepare for today's show. So again, just to recap, uh, if you want to, uh, if we want to get that hundred dollar new a gift card, we either need a lot, a lot of sparks. We either need some subs to help support, um, or we need, uh, or we need some donos uh, towards that Mount Rainier stuff, which I'm super grateful. Now, if you are thinking about subbing, not only do you have a chance to unlock that $100 gift card to give away to everybody, you've also got your chance to win one of these. So we're gonna give you, uh, this show is sponsored by Elgato and it's sponsored by Newegg. We will be putting in, uh, we will be getting Sony, I don't think anybody subbed. Oh, Ryoblade, yes, we already have our first sub. Ryoblade subbed, there we go. So, okay, only nine more, only nine more. Look at that, sub hype already. We got our guy who just dumped in the sub. Dude, Ryoblade, welcome to the family. You are entered to win one of these amazing uh, Streamlabs uh, stream decks or one year of Xbox Game Pass. So we'll be giving that away. And there, oh, there it is. And there it goes. It just subbed. So yeah, Space Dave is a little behind this morning. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I need to put Mix It Up on. The other thing too is down below. Let's talk about down below. Uh, if you are using the Mix It, the Mix Play stuff, uh, down below you can see those build info. Uh, there's the PC giveaway, which is the PC giveaway we just finished. Um, the build info is the build info for the build that we're building today. So the one that we'll be giving away in about six weeks because uh, we have the Metro Exodus PC we're going to be giving away next. Um, so if you want to check out what that is, you can click that build info. Uh, there's the donate link right down below. Uh, the bot is coming up, so he'll be up here in a short. If there is another one. Thank you, Octane TV, for that sub. There we go. We got Octane TV. More sub height. We're now already at two subs. Um, dude, this is going to go quickly if you guys keep rocking it like that. We're going to be giving away that $100 gift card pretty soon. If you want to know the PC we're building, you can do exclamation point P. Wow. I control there with the sub. Wow. Look at that. We only need seven more. Wow, you guys. Thank you very much for all those subs. That's amazing. Welcome to the channel. Hey, also, don't forget to join our Discord where you get all those special... Oh, thank you, Rem. Uh, one sec, guys. We're gonna fix this real quick. We're we're doing it live. Oh snap! And then we just got another sub. Pop. Oh wait. Yeah, zombie seven one nine there with the sub. Thank you very much. Uh, let me. Whoa. And Yorkshire. Wow. Okay. Maybe I should have made it harder. I I'm just kidding. You have to get. We have to get five thousand subs. Just kidding. No, that's not true. Open link. Um. Let me save this picture. Give me one second, guys. We're gonna get to it. I just got to. Uh, I have to, I promise these guys, you know, when you have a sponsor and they're amazing, um, you need to, you need to, you need to give them the love. So we're going to add an image source, image done. We're going to add a new image. It's called new egg logo. Logo. Okay. Add source. And then we're going to get it from here. One sec guys. Sorry. I promise these guys, I want to I wanna do what's right. Okay, whoa, that is that is not a PNG for some reason. That's not working the way that I want it to. Okay, uh, that's not what I wanted. 
Uh, that's super weird. We'll put it in the corner, just for now. That, yeah, I know it is odd, but we're going to put it here, so at least we have it. Okay, so I'm going to copy this source. Put this way down at the bottom. Here, okay. Copy. We're going to put it in top down, since we have it here. Paste. There we go. It's there. And if roaming worked, it would be here too. Whoops. Oopsie. You guys don't see anything because it's not here. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got it fixed. Looks great. Now we got we got new egg on the logo. We'll we'll fix it. We'll make it something better. But I want to I want to keep my guys going. Um, so I don't know how many we've got. I think we've gotten. I think we're at four four subs. So dude, we're we're on our way. Six more subs, and then we'll give away a hundred dollar gift card. That's crazy. Uh, thanks for all that, guys. Um, or a big dono or something like that. We still got some other stuff. Um, let's talk about tech news as as we kind of go out there. So let's let's go through the tech news. Let's 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 talk about what's new in the world of the world. Oh. Sorry, got distracted. If you want to know the PC build, you can do exclamation point PC. Exclamation points PC will um, give you the all of the uh, all of the stuff that we're putting in the great PC we're giving away in about six weeks. You can do exclamation point Discord. Um, that's where you can come chat with us on the Discord channel. We have our own Discord channel. There's another sub right there. Uh, wow. Uh, thank you. For, oh, that's Octane. Okay, so it's just a little slow. Space Dave's a little slow today. Um, so exclamation point C PC will take you a link to the new site where you can check out the build that we're building here. Um, exclamation point Discord will take you to our Discord. You can ask questions. Um, you can chat with us. We have a really great community over there. So make sure you check out our Discord and join there. Um, uh, exclamation point donate is will give you the donate link. So if you want to donate and help support me for that Mount Rainier climb, uh, you want to basically do that. You can just do exclamation point donate. That's another one of the commands. And then of course, uh, then you uh, down below you can also do sparks and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. Space Dave is now awake. He's now doing his thing. There's your sub link as well if you want to basically sub subscribe. We're uh, we're like five, six subs away from basically rocking up, uh, giving away a hundred dollar gift card. And we're still going to give away. Uh, the one thing too is we're going to give you away twenty five dollar gift cards to New Egg, or your chance you can choose to do a three month xbox game pass so i know not everybody here is a big pc guy i know we have a lot of xbox guys here so you get one or the other so now let's get started let's talk about tech news first thing in the tech news boom 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 sigma uh so uh overwatch hero sigma was just announced um for those of you guys are playing uh he's his name is Sebrin de Kipra, a.k.a. Sigma. He's an astrophysicist from the Netherlands and is a villain in Overwatch lore. Um, I don't know how many badass astrophysicists you know, but apparently this is one of them right there. Um, he is work as an astrophysicist went awry, as they tend to do, and resulted in giving him the ability to control gravity. So, uh, boys and girls, if... Uh, you want to become an Overwatch hero, you may... Wow, there we go. Another... Uh, there we go. I control there uh, with the earlier one. Uh, you may want to become an astrophysicist, and maybe you too can become an Overwatch hero. Uh, after a brief exposure to a black hole left him with psychological damage, uh, the area around him started experiencing gravitational fluctuations depending on his mood. Um, if he's like Jez Corden, his mood is sour and say sad all the time, so he's pretty, pretty melancholy. Um... But as for his role in the game, he fills a tank. So he is a tank, but he's the first kind of evil tank with the ability to create hyper uh, hyperspheres, two charges that can bounce off walls and detonate after a period of time. He also has an, exper uh, has an experimental barrier uh, where he can propel to any location and choosing and to dismiss at any time. Um, an interesting ability that creates some new and interesting metas in competitive play. I don't think he's actually, I think he'll be in the next, uh, the next stage of Overwatch, I think the plan was, because I know they did the lock, so he's, the plan is to have him in the next stage. Um, he also has another ability that allows him to pull debris from his surroundings and hurl it towards the enemies. His ultimate, just so you guys know, ultimate has been, uh, his ultimate ability is called Gravitic, Gravitic Flux, where Sigma takes flight and lifts his enemies in a targeted AOE and then slams them into the ground. So it's like almost like, uh, I don't know, like so many other things. Uh, it's currently on the public test room. If you want to go check it out, um, it's currently live if you want to go play with him. Pretty cool looking character. They, they have the backstory. I'm showing kind of the video up here before if you want to check out a little bit. I love how Blizzard introduces these new characters. So there is that. Let's see what's next on the news. What's next on the news is we don't know. All right, let's go to the next news item. Let's just do it here. We'll close this one and go to news two. 
Okay. Oh, yes. I'm so excited about this. I don't know if people saw this. So Origin uh, did what was called the big, the PC, the PC that did the big O. Um, I don't know if it, we have done some stuff with Origin in the past. Um, Origin is um, one of those uh, incredible, like, custom PC companies. One of the things that they did is they built this machine called Big O. And this Big O machine, I'll, I'll get the link uh, for you guys to watch the video. Um, the I have it I have it here later. But you should go check it out on YouTube. Hey, thank you very much, Crimson, for that 750, dude. That's, that's incredible. Um, one of the things that it did is it's a Xbox One X, a PlayStation 4, a PC and a Nintendo Switch all built into a single uh, PC. Uh, they debuted it on, let me name, I'm trying to remember the name of the YouTube channel, which I had never checked out before, but the dude's actually huge. Um, he has like 14 million subscribers. Um, uh, had no idea how awesome he was until uh, I was, uh, I, I ended up subscribing to him. Unbox Therapy. So you can check out the link on, on you check out Unbox Therapy on YouTube uh, where they sent this PC. This PC was ridiculous. Uh, it's um, it's at 5.2 million views already. It was uh, it was released three days ago. Uh, absolutely beast of a PC. Um, talking about the specs in this thing, which was crazy. Um, so it has. Uh, uh, like I said, integrated Nintendo Switch. It's got an Xbox One X and a PlayStation 4 Pro, all of which, minus the Switch, the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X are actually custom water-cooled, which is awesome. Uh, in the PC, it's got a uh, MSA Meg Z390 Godlike. It's running an i9-9900K. It's got an NVIDIA Titan RTX. So understand that just the graphics card on the PC is more expensive than all of the consoles put together because I think that... that card retails at like 2400 bucks um it's got 64 gigs of dominator platinum rom which is the same stuff we're putting in here uh, it's got two two terabyte 970 evo nvmes a 14 gig seagate barracuda uh it's using all hardline water cooling wow geez guys there's Yorkshire. We got two more subs. A donation, five dollar donation. Thank you very much, Dirt Tree, for that. Yorkshire work. Welcome to your Yoshi. Sorry, Kayafar. Uh, thank you and welcome to the family. Um, it's got uh, Corsair RGB fans, a tenth, uh, a 1,000 watt sour power supply. It's got an Elgato 4K60, and it's running Windows 10. This PC is ridiculous. I would definitely go check it out again. Uh, the name of the link, the name of the uh, thing is Unbox Therapy. Uh, hey, uh, Rem or Blondie or Narco, can you guys find it's uh, it's called Unbox Therapy? Can you just throw a couple links in the channel um, to show? Yo, I'm sorry, Yoshi K I. How do I say it? Is it Yoshi K I? FR? Or is it Yoshiki fr? Yoshiki. Yoshiki. Okay. Yoshiki. I'm sorry, man. Welcome, Yoshiki. I want to make sure I say it right. So there you go. Yoshiki. Yoshiki. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool concept. Definitely check out the video. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. It's, it's been a bit of a hairy day, but thank you very much for joining the family. Again, you're entered to win that stream deck or one year of Xbox Game Pass, which you prefer um, when we do that in a way. And you're getting us all closer to unlocking that $100 Newegg gift card that I'll be doing a little bit later on. So yeah, definitely check that out. News Media 3, oh, that's right. A new graphics card came out. Um, and I will be doing an episode on all of the super cards. Uh, I think it'll be next week. We've already, um, I've already actually submitted the build. So we're, the next build that we're gonna be doing is a Team Fight Tactics. Special Edition PC. Um, it'll be actually running a 2070 Super is the plan, but I actually have a 2060, 2070, and 2080 Super that'll be here, so we'll show you guys all the Super cards, talk a little bit about, um, we'll, maybe we'll do some live um, benchmarking here on the show, um, but uh, 2080 Super came out yesterday. Already sold out if you were trying to buy it live on Newegg. I watched that. It, was, it took about three and a half hours to sell out all of the 2080 Supers. The cards are going for $6.99. Um, it's similar to the RTX and the 2070 Super. The only one, um, the thing that's interesting is with the release of the 2080 Super, they have discontinued the 2080. Same with the 2070 Super, but for some reason they kept the 2060. So I don't know. New eggs, I mean, uh, sorry, NVIDIA's got something. It's got eight gigabytes of GDDR5 running at a base clock of 1650 and a boost clock of 1815 megahertz. Um, support from third-party manufacturers um, will give you a variety to choose from. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to get like just a 2080 Super graphics card that isn't the, um, which isn't the 
uh, Founders Edition, which are the ones that I all have. Uh, you can get those, like check it out on Newegg. Obviously there's 2080 Super, just normal cards. Uh, Asus, all those guys have made 2080 Super. Uh, MSA and EVGA are offering a bunch of variations with different types of coolers and options. Um, it's weird um, that the NVIDIA gave performance graphs that show the 2080 Super up against the 1080 Ti. And let me show you that real quick. So we, uh, that's just the graphics card right there. But here is, this is the, checking out the performance here right here. Um, you can see when you look at this, so I'm going to bring these up here so I can see them. So yeah, you're looking at, uh, it's got the 2080, the GTX 1080 Ti, and the 1080. Now the thing that's super interesting about this and the reason that they probably were showing the 2080, the 1080 Ti, is that there was actually concerns before the 2080 Super came out um, about how it underperformed versus the 2080. Um, the, uh, so the 1080 Ti, in some cases, was actually outperforming the 2080 uh, non-super, just the 2080 plus. So I think one of the reasons that um, they're showing the 1080 and the 1080 Ti in this particular case is that the 2080 super is outperforming last gen's highest end graphics card, which was a concern from the original 2080. Um, the six nights, uh, it's going for six ninety nine ninety nine. Um, I don't know if you'll find it for that price. That's what the founders edition of the twenty eighty uh, was in terms of the stuff. Correct image on disk if you want update. Sorry about that. Okay, let me fix this real quick. Just getting, making sure I. D oh, there we go. Okay, open link, saving the picture. We're going to save it. Pictures, new egg. Okay, here we go. One second, guys. We're going to remove this. Properties. Browse. And we'll do this one. Open. Oh, look at that. Looks so much better. Open. Done. And now we can do this. Hey, and now it should work on all of them, right? Top down's got the... Oh, no, still not. Uh, properties. Browse. New egg, open, done. There we go. And then cam link. Uh, copy, Oop, not that one, copy. Let's just have a good time copying and posting. This is the most fun you guys have ever had. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we got, we got our logo on everything. Okay, so. Uh, price for this one, uh, sitting at $699. Uh, they were sitting at $699 for the um, Founders Edition of the card. This is not this. This is a different one. Oxford's dollar to There isn't going to be a massive increase in performance, but there will be a bit of a bump. We're looking at about 10% between the 1080 and the 1080 Ti. Uh, sorry, between the 2080 and the 2080 Super. The big thing is, is that this card, the 2080 Super, which I'll show you guys next week, I'll have one in here in the studio. The 2080 Super does actually outperform the 1080 Ti, which is a big thing because uh, you couldn't say that about the 2080 base. Um, uh, there was... <laughs> Josh put an issue there. There's no way to get, is going to be able to boost 28 to the ranks of the 2080 Ti. Obviously the 2080 Ti is, that'd be bad for business. There is still obviously also no rumor of a 2080 Ti Super. So apparently they didn't do a super version of that. Um, I know you can buy the, R, the Titan RTX, uh, the NVIDIA Titan RTX. Um, but anyway, if you were in the market for a 2080, uh, you should get a 2080 Super. Again, the 2080 is going away and the 2070 is going away. So that is that. Um, yeah, so that is the news. That is what is happening in the tech world today. Does anybody, anybody else have anything else that uh, they wanted to bring up like that we could think of? Um, we, uh, if there's anything else, I think we're four, four or five subs. I don't know, I wasn't uh, canceling. Uh, if we are four, I think we're four or five subs away from giving away that $100 gift card. We'll give away a $25 gift card here in about 10 minutes regardless, um, but yeah. Let's talk about the PC we're building now, though, because that's what everybody wants to know. Like, Roby, it's been all awesome, but what about the PC we're building today? And we're finishing today, hopefully, because we are going to build a new PC here in a couple days. I mean, uh, starting next week or the week after, depending on when I get the parts. So the PC we're building today is uh, we got all of this lovely, awesome... Um, stuff from AMD. So uh, I don't know if you guys know for, I think it's what now, we're like two weeks ago. So we're two weeks away. Two weeks ago, AMD launched uh, their new third gen Ryzen CPUs. 
and they launched their 5700 and their 5700 XT plus their 5700 XT Anniversary Edition, which, uh, talking with AMD yesterday, uh, they are keeping me in mind, and I'll be able to show the 5700 XT Gold Edition. My plan is to put that in our 50th Anniversary Edition AMD build that we have, that we built, one of the last PCs we built on Power Builds. Uh, it's black and gold, fits the aesthetics of that one. If you want to check that out, that's available up on Twitter. Um, but anyway, uh, they had their awesome launch. Uh, so far, the reviews on both of these cards, this thing is actually outperforming in certain cases, uh, the 2070 Super, um, and then this thing has been an absolute beast. Uh, price to power comparison, specifically when we're talking about streaming or any sort of multi-threaded, um, any sort of multi-threaded awesome, um, this thing has been uh, an absolutely crazy, crazy uh, PC. Um, so uh, AMD was nice enough to hook us up and give us the uh, give us the info on this, um, and give us uh, a couple of the uh, early uh, early versions. And we decided, hey, you know what we should do is we should put it in a really awesome PC. Have our friend, our guy Josh, do a bunch of vinyls and graphics for it, and then give it away to you guys, the amazing fans. I think the PC that we have on here, I think it retails for just under 4K. Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning, everybody. Uh, just under 4K. Uh, or maybe just over 4K uh, for this PC after tax and stuff, and we'll be giving it away between six and eight weeks from now. Uh, we have one, oh, I just realized how low this thing is. Let's get this back up. There we go. There we go. Uh, so uh, this is the Zen 2 architecture. I think the 3900X, oh, look, it's, a, it's funny because it says on this, it says not for resale. If you can tell that this is one of the ones that they actually uh, hooked us up with. Uh, this is before all of the uh, the awesome was. This is a obviously a new one. Um, okay, so this is actually already built in, and then of course we have the 5700 XT. The 5700 XT is uh, the uh, their new newest graphics card. I actually had the honor of being at AMD's press event uh, at three E3 where they showed off all of the awesome for this. Uh, I've been playing with this card for a couple weeks now. Um, playing, you know, mostly just to check out performance wise. It's been absolutely great. Uh, obviously the one thing that's the difference between this and the current generation of NVIDIA cards, um, is that there is a lack of ray tracing. Um, so, uh, this is their first card on their new Navi architecture. Um, and then they had two versions, the 5700 and the 5700 XT. Um, and like I said, this one has been performing, uh, in base, in certain base scenarios, actually better than the 2070 Super and is actually still a little bit less expensive, which has been pretty awesome. Um, one of the things that was super funny about watching this whole thing is NVIDIA announced their cards and then very quickly, um, AMD responded with a price drop. So, um, the price on these have actually been pretty awesome as well. So when we talk about it at the core and center of our PC is this awesome, uh, this awesome 3900X uh, from AMD. And then of course, we wanted to make sure that we're using the latest and greatest, which is not that one, it's this one, sorry. The latest and greatest uh, from uh, our fine friends at uh, AMD. So we're using their, 50, their 570X motherboards. Uh, things about 570X motherboards is, oh, sorry, X570s. X570 is it now includes PCIe 4, um, which is right now at this point in time exclusive to AMD's platform. What does PCIe 4 give you? You might ask. Well, it gives you faster read and write times to your graphics cards and to things like your NVMe drives. So when you were doing like a, oh, a last generation, it's funny to say last gen uh, when it comes to PC parts, but a last generation uh, 970 Evo Pro. Um, for those of you who don't know what a last generation 970 Evo Pro looks like, um, these are M.2 drives. And so for a lot of people who've been used to this, a 970 Evo Pro, like people are saying, oh, what does that mean? So these are, when you talk about hard drives, these are some of the fastest hard drives you can put in a consumer grade custom PC right now. Write speeds on this thing, um, when you talk about throughput through the motherboard is between three, three and a half gigs per second, which is very, very fast. Well, with AMD's, new, I'm sorry, with uh, PCIe 4, we've now got the new generation, the PCIe 4 version of M.2 drives, like this MP600 here from Corsair, and now you're, now you're looking at four plus gigs per second, which is insanely fast. It just means that your data moves very, very fast. It's actually, there's not anything right now from a from a write, read write architecture that really takes advantage of this, but there will be, and it will be awesome when it does. So we'll be putting obviously one of these PCIe 4 M.2s inside of this um, PC that you guys will get to go and play around with, should you win it. 
So that is just to tell you. So that's PCIe 4. The other thing too is that when you talk about PCIe, PCIe is where you put in all of your stuff, like your the uh, like your HD60 Pro here. Like you'd put that, you'd put something like this inside of it. Or specifically and more um, importantly is things like your graphics card, like your 5700 XT. Right now there are no graphics cards that are taking advantage of PCIe 4 but we're still probably a generation away when more than likely Intel will have it as well. Um, and then you'll see things with probably the next gen Navi and the next gen Nvidia taking advantage of PCIe 4. And then that just means more powerful graphics cards, which is gonna be awesome. So anyway, uh, we've got the raw cross here, Hero 7. Um, when we take a look at this, let me, let, me, let me actually go to the top down, right? So I can show you. And look, our top down's all big now. I actually got that fixed. So we're talking about what's inside of this. Look at the amount of IO. I mean, we're talking about there's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, <laughs> eleven uh, USB three, uh, four USB three. It looks like eleven total USB uh, ports on the back of this. Um, we've got your ten gig Ethernet port, which is always amazing. Um, then you're talking about your PCIe four, which is actually it's got two slots. You've got your M.2 PCIe four here, and then you've got another one under this really fancy um, uh, RGB thing here. Uh, it's got multi GPU support. You got two 16, uh, you got two uh, PCIe 4 16 by 16 spots uh, plus a single PCIe 4 one slot. Um, yeah, very, very high end. This is the Wi Fi edition, a very, very high end uh, motherboard and a great kind of uh, base for the card that we're putting in, which is going to be a lot of fun. So that is our motherboard. When we talk about our RAM, and, you know, it's funny because I remember AMD was kind of, they, they kind of said, they said, hey, you know, kind of a mid-range PC when you're building a, you're putting a 5700 XT, you're not doing anything like a, like a high-end, uh, like a high-end, uh, oh, I don't think we're doing the 64, I think we got 32. There we go. Uh, just going to make sure here. So uh, we wanted the best of the best. We really did. I mean, like, we, we don't do anything else. So again, uh, we're putting 32 gigs of Dominator Platinum Corsair RAM. Uh, this one is at... What speed did I put this at? 3,200 megahertz. So this is at 3,200 megahertz, uh, 32 gigs of the Corsair, the, their, their high-end Dominator Platinum RAM. This is their new RGB stuff with their addressable RGBs. So this is the RAM that we have in here. Of course, we're filling in four slots, so you basically get that dual-channel RAM. Plus, it just looks pretty. We didn't want to do anything like with like the fake Aorus, where like you might do two sticks of 16, and then you throw in a couple fake ones. We just decided to use all the slots. Uh, with some super high-end RAM. So again, super grateful for Nui for sending the parts. Actually, let's just take a moment because this show, for those of you who watch and enjoy the almost a thousand of you who are here now, uh, this show wouldn't be possible without our fine friends in Newegg. So can we get some Newegg hype in the channel? It would be great to get some Newegg hype in the channel. Uh, hashtag, let's do some hashtag Newegg. Thank you so much Newegg for being here, for being awesome, and for helping us do this amazing show. Um, it is always a pleasure to have them around. So let's do some new egg hype in the channel. And then also, guys, we want to get to at least 10 million sparks. There's always giveaways beyond 10 million. Uh, 20 million gives us that $100 gift card. Again, we're like five, four or five subs away from um, giving away the $100 card. So if you want to do thinking about those things, that's the stuff that's going in there. And again, big donos to helping you climb Rainier. Guys, we need, I got to get up to Rainier. Uh, it's happening. I mean, regardless, I'm going, but you guys are helping me um, minimize that financial burden. So if you want to support, donate, all that sort of stuff. Guys, we're getting close. We're getting close. Let's just, let's just take a break here because we've talked about what it was. If you want to give, if you want me to give away a hundred dollar new A gift card, and think about what that is. That means you can get, uh, um, you could probably end up getting uh, some some nice RAM. Uh, you get some, uh, you can get a nice AIO. Yeah, uh, there's a bunch of stuff on new A that you'd be surprised, like drones, all that sort of stuff. This is this is going to help you towards that purchase. So all we got to do is you got to help uh, with that supporting with that sub button. That's by far the closest one right now. We're only like four subs away, and we'll give away a hundred dollar gift card. But I said at eight o'clock we would give away a twenty-five dollar gift card. It is eight o'clock, so let's do let's give away that twenty-five dollar gift card right now. I'm gonna unplug this because no point in keeping this in here. So let's do twenty-five dollar gift card, uh, new a gift card, or three months of Xbox Game Pass, whichever one you prefer. If you're not doing this, guys, uh, one thing that I I will say this because um, I've I've had this come up a couple times. If you guys enter a giveaway and you cannot use said giveaway. That doesn't mean that I give you something else. Only enter the giveaway if you can use the giveaway. 
Because if you win the giveaway, I'm going to give you what you won, regardless of whether you can use it or not. So I, I had a couple people who were like bartering, like, hey, I can't use that. Can you give me something else? No. You can either get the new egg gift card or you can get three months of Game Pass. I'm not going to give you like Xbox Live or whatever it was. Uh, you'll know how to enter here very soon. So this is $25 of new egg gift card. Uh, new egg gift card or uh, three months of Xbox Game Pass. Three months of Game Pass. And then, of course, we the enter to give away is new egg. And there we go. So we'll get that going. Okay, so that's that's running right now. Oh, th yeah, thank you. Hey, McFly, did you use the link? Or did you end up using the link? Because um, that is the other thing, too. Uh, new Egg, thank you very much for all that sort of stuff. I hope you use the... Oh, good, awesome. Thank you very much, McFly. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so when we talk about it, so uh, there's a couple other things that we're, we, we've gotten that we're going to put this off to the side here so we can get that out of the way, let that run while we're doing that. Uh, so we've talked about motherboard. We've talked about uh, uh, RAM. AIO, uh, which is interesting because I was pretty excited about this. So we're using the new ROG Ryujin 360. So it's a 360 rad um, with 120 millimeter fans. Uh, this thing comes and it's got, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. We'll go to the top down. We'll see if you can see it a little bit better. But on the top down here, um, you can see, I'll try and do it so maybe I get so, not so much glare. But this actually has a, right here, it actually has a LCD screen, uh, OLED, sorry, an OLED screen that shows you a bunch of stuff of like what temperatures and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, um, which is pretty rad. So again, it'll just make it look super cool and make it look nice and clean. We'll have it do red and white across. So you've got your RGB plus a pretty cool OLED screen to basically do some displays. Uh, it's also using the Noctua uh, industrial PPC fans, uh, which is their high-end fans. It's one of the only ways to get their high-end fans in black. I know that they do make some of their low-end fans in other colors, but this is probably pretty cool. We are not using these fans. I may use them at some other point later. We're using, obviously, Corsair RGB fans because, again, we like RGB. RGB makes things prettier, faster. F yeah, well, maybe not faster. I, I pretend, pretend that adding RGB makes things faster, but, yeah, that it's uh, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, so, yeah, this is our AIO right here. So we're going to be running the Ryujin uh, 360 um, AIO. Uh, we've actually got that already installed. Of course, if you're doing all this stuff and you say, well, I need power, and we're all into this OLED, and this is something we're doing today because you can see that the box is still sealed. So let's take this off so you can, one second, grab my knife here. We'll do an open boxing. We'll do an unboxing right now. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Reunited and it feels so good. Wow, that was quite the pop there. Okay, sorry, this, this is just a lot of glare off of the plastic wrapping there. Plus, everybody enjoys that sound. So, we're using the ROG Thor! Thor, named for the mythical god of power, lightning, thunder. Apparently, hopefully, it doesn't thunder while we're in there. So, uh, running the Thor 850 watt platinum. Uh, PSU. Um, it's also got a display that shows how much power is being drawn. Um, that, so it's again running an OLED display. It's got the platinum, uh, platinum certification. So it utilizes those top in Japanese capacitors, which produce less heat and are more reliable. And as a result, you get a power supply that's certified for high efficiency. It's got that nice wing blade fan. It comes with sleeve cables, not that we care because we're using different ones. And it's got this, that integrated ROG heat sink. Um, it keeps it nice, um, very, very pretty. Will look really great in our, will look really great in our case. And the great thing about it is that that little OLED right there uh, pops through um, the little window in our uh, Phantom Evo X case, so it should look nice and awesome there. Oh, congratulations, Rogue Saint! Rogue Saint's the winner. Let's get that squared away real quick. Rogue Saint, whisper. There you go, man. Okay, so we'll be giving another one away. We have four subs. If you want to, I think it's, four, was it four or five? It might be four, it might be five. Let's say five. Five subs, five more subs, and we give away a $100 new A gift card. All we have to do is you got five subs. What does sub do? Sub supports me. It means that you're supporting me on a regular basis. It also enters you to win those awesome uh, things like the Elgato Stream Deck, 
Uh, so you're in for a sub only sub only giveaway where we give a uh, stream deck or one year of Xbox Game Pass. Um, plus other things like special access to chatting with me on my Discord. Um, you get access to specific really cool icons um, and emojis that you only have in my channel. And plus, I just love you more. I just love subs more. It's not that I don't love everybody, but I love my subs more because they love me, and this is the way of showing it. So there we go. Uh, let's see. We talked about motherboard. We talked about AIO. We talked about, oh, graphics card. Well, we'll show it. 5700 XT. You know what we haven't done yet? Because we haven't unboxed this bad boy. So why don't we show this? Uh, this is the latest and greatest um, Navi graphics card from AMD. It launched about two weeks ago. I love the box for this, but here you go. We'll open this up here. This is their thing. We haven't put this in yet, but we're going we're gonna to unbox it real quick so you guys can take a look at this. Because I think this card, look at that. I think this card is super sexy. I know some people aren't a big fan of like the, the little divot here in the center, but oh, it's, it's in there. Oh. But I think that they, they did an absolutely. So again, blower style fan. Whoa, there we go. Elite Assassin, thank you very much for that sub. We're four subs away, guys. Four subs away, and we're giving we're giving away a hundred dollar gift card. So there we go, guys. Look at that. Look at that graphics card, dude. That thing is absolutely sexy. And again, you're looking at 2070 super power uh, in terms of overall performance uh, for less price. Um, again, what you are missing is uh, RTX support, so there's no ray tracing support. Um, but um, this is uh, still an absolutely amazing card, and I love. The back actually looks a little bit like a Star Trek uh, nacelle uh, for all of you nerds out there. And you know what? I'm a nerd, and I'm okay with it. Deal with it. But, yeah, it's got, like, that Star Trek nacelle type look on it, which is pretty rad. Uh, very, very pretty card. So we're going to be putting that in. That is in. That is going into our awesome and amazing our awesome and amazing build that we're going to be giving away here in about six weeks. We put that together. And then, okay, so we talked about – oh, sleeve cables. Yeah, so um, I know that the uh, PSU that we're getting, uh, our Thor, um, is actually using sleeve cables. But, of course, we are using uh, Asian Horse. Um, I've, been, I've been a fan of these, ca uh, these cables, actually. Um, I find them. I used to use Cable, cable Mod Pro. Um, and then I found these guys because we needed to do a gold build for the AMD 50th Anniversary Edition. And in doing the gold build, we found... Uh, that basically it's just it was just a little bit um hard to find in cable mod so check these guys out found them they're available on new egg as well the thing that's super funny about these guys which one of the things i really enjoy about this is every time for some reason they come with they come with white gloves so like not only do you get sleeved cables you also get white uh oh what's your favorite card at the moment for looks grizzly acrobat asks um, I would say, honestly, I really like the look of this card. Uh, in terms of just aesthetics, um, it's between this and the new 50th anniversary and the NVIDIA Titan RTX uh, are my favorites. Uh, the one thing I think about, like, when I think about the, the aesthetics for the third-party cards, like the Asus ROG Strix and stuff like that, they're very bulky, but I kind of like the sleek look of some of these reference cards that have been coming out. So, yeah, that's, that's where my heart is right now. Uh, uh, so, yeah, anyway, we got these... Crate white gloves. No idea what we did with them. The cool thing is, is that we, when we use the G Skill Royal Triton Z, um, Triton Z uh, RAM, which is like the gold covered or silver covered RAM, it's fun to use a little white glove. So thank you, Asian Horse, for those. Those are our graphics cards. I'm sorry. Those are our. That is our cable solution. Okay. So, oh, and I forgot. And then finally. Because we don't want to do anything to them. We are using uh, the Aorus NVMe Gen 4 SSD. Uh, this is the M.2 drive um, from... Uh, this, is a, this is a PCIe 4 M.2 drive. This is a 2 terabyte drive. Um, we're also going to be putting inside of this a 2 terabyte... Yes, a 2 terabyte 860 Evo drive SSD. Oh, there we go. Uh, that was there. It's Elite Assassin. It's just a little behind because of all of the follows. Thank you again for all those follows, guys. We're getting close to... Wow, we're com coming up on that 16,500 already. So for our OSs, for our OS drive, we're using this uh, PCIe 4 uh, NVMe drive. And then for our game drive, we're throwing in this, this uh, 860 Evo. So you're going to have 4 terabytes of storage space. Very, very fast for your games and OS needs. So 
that will be in there as well. And we got to install those today, don't we? Yes, we do, Mr. Roby. And then, of course, this game, this show is also sponsored by our fine folks at Elgato. And what does that mean? That means that also included with every PC build that you may win is we'll be putting in a HD60 Pro capture card and then an Elgato Stream Deck, which you will also receive uh, with the person who basically wins this build. So we'll be putting these in today as well. Um, so yeah, good, good, good PC. Now, and then of course, you got to make sure you got an OS. So uh, we're going to be running Windows 10 Pro because uh, we're not going to put Linux on it. Why would we put Linux on it? That'd be weird. So thank you very much uh, for all that sort of stuff. So that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Why don't you, uh, let's, let's ask the question now. Who wants, to, who wants to start some PC building? What do you guys think? Yes, Windows 10 Pro, Elite Assassin, Win Windows 10 Pro. So who, who's ready for some PC building? Yeah, and then again, you can do that. Uh, it's not exclamation point spec. I think it's exclamation point PC. So there we go. Everybody's ready for some PC building. Let's get this started. Okay, so we're gonna grab our case here. Where are we at? Let's walk through where we're, whoa, whoa. Let's not throw the PC around. Ugh. I'm gonna cover my beautiful face and you'll be okay with it. So this is where we're at, guys. This is where we're left. This is two weeks of work so far. Um, yeah, this is where things are. Yeah, it's huge. So this is where things sit right now. Again, this is sitting in the Fantex Evo X case. One of my favorite cases. Uh, I think this is my third or fourth build in it. Um, we're using Corsair ML140 fans uh, currently inside of this build. Um, so we're going to be using ML140s. You can see those across. Again, we've got our, uh, let's go to our top down view and then we'll just kind of walk through what you guys see right now. Oh, so hefty. So hefty. So here's what we got going on right now. Let's put this down a little bit. And then we'll start building. Uh, which there's not a whole lot left. It's really actually, I think the majority of this will be putting in the PSU and getting everything ready. Okay, so here's where we're at. So again, we talked about the Corsair. We got the Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM. That's installed there. This is our very pretty, and we talked about it. This is that AIO. Um, you can see here that OLED screen um, that basically has all that data. Here, let's, uh, just for the heck of it, because I noticed this when I was watching the VOD yesterday, that we have some, look at this, here we go. Do a little, there's a little peel action for you. And we got another one here. Get some more peel here. There we go. Oh, that peel action. Oh, look at that. That's so shiny. So that'll shine right through there. So we'll put that, we'll have that showing up in there. We've got those Asian horse sleeve cables. So that's your sleeve cables right there. We've already got our M.2. Um, our PCIe 4 M.2 is actually underneath this. We installed this early on. You can see our front panel connectors are already connected. There's your, your power cable. Um, this is your, uh, this is basically, ooh, sorry, you can't see that. This right here is um, the addressable RGB. And then if, over here, we've got our HD audio that's plugged in. USB 3 right here, USB-C right here. This is power one. This is basically all your power for this. We've got all of our cables hooked up for our AIO here. And then of course we've got our power cable up here, um, which is running. We actually have to add one more when we get this, when we plug in our power supply um, for all of the power that this board needs in and of itself. Um, again, ML140 and ML120 fans. We've got four uh, Corsair ML140 fans in the front. These are all RGB with addressable RGB lighting. Uh, you've got three ML120s on the top. And then we've got a single ML140 exhaust fan. Uh, and then, of course, what you are missing right here is where our PSU goes. So we're going to be spending the majority of the time uh, for this show on the back here. Oh, not that back. This is where we're going to be doing the majority of the work today. So hold on one second. Uh, one second, one second, one second, one second. Uh, hold on. Let's talk to my wife here for a second. Hey, how's it going, honey? I'm currently streaming. Oh, okay. So anyway, but you can say hi to the 1,175 people who are watching right now. Hello. <laughs> there we go. So then, anyway, the little something from hi, Roby's wife. There you go. Everybody's saying hi, wifey. Everybody says hi, Mrs. Roby. Is there anything that you need that's super critical? Uh, the housekeeper is here. Yeah, I told you, 8 o'clock. 
Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So this is where we're going to be doing the majority of the work today. As you can see, it's a little bit of a train wreck. So what is happening today? Because no, no one said hi. Everybody said hi. All sorts of people said hi. Um, uh, this is what's happening today. We have to install all of our fans. We have a lot of fans that got to get hooked up. So we're going to be installing our fans and our Corsair Pro, Corsair Commander Pro, which is going to be our fan controller. So we'll put some fans here and then some on the Corsair Commander Pro. We've got to install our PSU. Um, which will go down here, and we have to install our lighting node pros, which is what's going to control all of the RGB that we have for all of the what what is essentially seven fans of RGB. We got to put in a couple lighting node pros to get that installed. All of our front stuff is essentially done. We have nothing else to worry about. We have some USB stuff that we have to hook up, um, specifically around our lighting node pros and stuff like that. But outside of that, not a whole lot that we have to worry about here. Um, so yeah, that's 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 where things sit right now. So we have a lot of fans that we have to hook up is kind of where things are sitting right now. And that's what all of these multitude of cables and SATA cables and stuff like that are all sitting at. So why don't we get started with our Lighting Node Pro that we're going to be doing right here. So this is Lighting Nodes. This comes with all of our fans. And we're going to start with that. And did New is Newegg here? Newegg Hype? Did we get? Hey, did Newegg say hi? Oh, there he is. I missed it. I'm sorry, Newegg. Good morning. How are you, Newegg? It's good to see you. We had a little bit of, we had, yeah, BB. Newegg has a lot arrived. You know what I forgot to do is I forgot to tell people I'm live on the tweet, on the Twitters. So I should probably do that at some point in time because a lot of people would like to watch on the Twitters. Sure are. Hey, Newegg, look at that fine logo. You missed all the technical weirdness at the beginning, but now that new, now we have our logo there to represent so people know that you are making this show possible. Pretty good. Build's looking good. Yeah, we're gonna we're uh, we're getting ready to install a lot of lighting node pros because we have a lot of RGB fans we got to deal with. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. And we're gonna find all of that RGB and then find places to stick stick all this stuff. So we got an RGB fan right here. And we the the other thing that I'm kind of doing as well with this stuff is finding out where I can kind of place place things because when you have this much RGB, you got to figure out. So we'll make this one. I think this is going to be that back fan. We got a final RG, all of our RGB fan locations. So we have a bunch of them. These are all fans here. Fans for the fans. It's funny. I remember during power builds, and I, I, I want to know what you guys thought thought of this idea. Hold on one sec. I'm gonna open this door because it's getting hot in here. Oh, airflow. Whew, thank you very much. Thank you for airflow. I want I want to know what you guys thought of this idea. We have, like, as you do a lot of these builds, as you do a lot of these builds, you usually end up having, you, end, you usually end up having uh, a bunch of extra fans. So one of the things that Brenna thought would be super funny, and I, I, I don't know if you guys think of this funny, is at some point in time, just to send fans to random fans. Like, maybe as a sub surprise, like, you might just get a fan in the mail. Uh, just, yeah, it's getting hot in here. So you guys would just like, as a, you know, like for instance, Elite Assassin, you just were, you are, you're one of the subs on the thing. One day you would just, in your mail, you would get a Noctua fan or an LL120 fan just to say, hey, thanks for being awesome. And here's a fan for my fans. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Some people say they love it. Okay. So we're just slowly working through here, getting all the cables out. So what does a can, people may ask, what is, what does this do? This is our lighting control for our RGB. So with Corsair specific stuff, uh, their, all of their lighting stuff is, comp uh, is controlled via a, a program called IQ. Uh, IQ is a, um, a app that allows you to do things like control your fan speeds. It lets you, uh, it's kind of like NZXT's uh, cam link. Um, where you can just basically look at your system stats, like temperatures, etc. But it also allows you to control all your RGB. So like your Corsair, all that sort of stuff is all controlled via that for your uh, mice, keyboards, AIOs. And the interface is all done via USB. So this specifically, um, when you look at any Corsair fan, so let's grab here, here's a white, this is a white LL120 fan. Uh, on any Corsair fan like this, there are two cables. Uh, this is just your normal your normal uh, power cable, um, addressable power cable for your um, for your fan. But this our proprietary this is a proprietary RGB connector that you have to connect to something like this, and so that's on every fan. So when you have seven fans like that, 
you have to be able to have a place to hook them up. You need, and so when you buy a pack of three um, ML120s or ML140s, which you can see on the, the PC link, uh, you have to, that's what this, that it comes with one of these so you can control that stuff. Now the way that when you hook these up, because um, people can see these are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, it has to be serially. Like, so you can't just be like, oh, I'll put one in one, one in four, one in six. It has to be like one in one, one in two, one in three, and it has to go in order. So as I plug these in, I have to make sure that I go in serial order and fill them all in like I am. Okay, so there's that. These are addressable power things. I might actually use some of those versus doing thing at something else. Okay, so there's that. And then there is four, there is five, and our last one, I'm guessing we've got a bunch down here that we just haven't gotten to right now. Yeah, those are pretty fans. Yeah, those are the white fans that came out with, uh, they, they had shown at Computext and then um, actually uh, let people see them. And then here is five, there's six, and then the thing that's weird, and I was thinking about this, is actually, oops, that's not going to work anything. That's not going to do anything. Is we have to plug in number six. So there's number six. Okay, so there is all the fans. And then unfortunately, the thing that's pretty crazy about this, and I thought about this, is I don't, ha like, I may, I may have to remove a fan. I don't remember how many USB things. I have to look at the front. I may have to remove a fan. Because I have seven fans and all of them only support six. Um, oh, a actually no, I won't have to remove a fan because I can. I can use. I don't. This doesn't require USB. Okay, good. No, I won't have to remove a fan. Never mind. I'm good. Okay, so I just need one more lighting node controller, which I'll get here in a second, and then that'll be for number six, which is going to be by itself. So let us grab one of those. So here we go, we got another lighting node right there. It's not the, f in, so Ninjas in Pajamas, you ask about the fan header. It's not, it's actually not the fan header that I need. Uh, it's actually the, L the uh, RGB header. So um, one of the reasons and why you were listening to me say this ahead is usually when you look at this, if you didn't have a Corsair Commander Pro like I do, um, you'd have to use what, this is the other part of the lighting node Pro, and this is controlled via USB port. So there's only so many internal USBs and I don't have a USB hub here. So I was trying to think of like, oh man, if I want to get this up and running today, um, I would need to have three USB um, headers um, available. The thing was is that because I have a, command, a Commander Pro, the way that the Commander Pro hooks up is this little cable right here allows me to connect this um, Lighting Node Pro to a Commander Pro via the LED header on the Commander Pro. So I only need, I don't need to worry about using USB slots for that. So that's that's what I was going through in my head, just to answer those questions. Yeah, hi techie techie. So there you go. So there's one, yeah. Like I said, this has lots of fans and sometimes with lots of fans, you gotta deal with lots of, lots of stuff um, to get it to work. Guys, don't forget, we are four subs, four subs away from the $100 gift card. And so if you want to do support the channel, you only you, you could you could unlock everybody getting a chance to win a hundred dollar gift card. And then we are uh, here in about 25 or 30 minutes. We'll still do another card giveaway for twenty five dollars. But we are four away from giving away a hundred dollar gift card. Um, and then again, you can always do that donation and help me get to the top of Rainier. So you can see those donors there. Um, that is actually what you can help me do. And I would give you a big thank you um, after I summit. Um, and say your name specifically as somebody who helped get me to the top. So I thank you very much for that $5 donation um, that we got from Dirty, um, Dirty World. Um, but if you want to help with that, that would be much appreciated. That is actually happening next week on Thursday. I am actually summoning Mount Rainier. Um, and so uh, I'll, I'll record a little video and thank you, thanks specifically to people like Beckus of Norway, Rem AG, Halcyon, um, um, oh, geez, I'm crow. Um, I just forgot his name. Uh, there's And then two others who've been big, big supporters um, who've been helping me get in there. I haven't announced the winner of the PC yet. I'll do that near the end of the show. So Doc, yeah, Doc Cupcake and Doc Cupcake, who are all big supporters of getting me up there. They're the ones who've helped me raise the money I've raised so far. Um, so yeah, if you want to be a part of that, that'd be a big thank you. And then again, we're trying to get to that 5 million, at least 10 million, at least 10 million 
um, sparks, guys. We got like I know we got lots of sparks in there. Let's see if we can get those sparks going, guys. Let's get a spark train going and get to that 10 million. Okay, so there we go. That's number one. Let's see those sparks, boys and girls. Let's see those sparks, and we'll announce the winner. We're going to announce the winner for the PC giveaway as well. Spam those sparks. Okay, so now we have all of our fans hooked up. So there's all of our fans all ready to go. And then we have our fans up here who are all ready to go. So those are all ready. I'm wondering, ooh, I'm wondering if I put these, if I put these up here. Maybe those would look cool if these were actually on the SSD thing. So like sitting like this. And then these were all here. And then all of our, like our Commander Pro was on here as well. So like these were like, you, you'd get like, you'd open this up and you'd have like a nice view of all of your, your fan controllers. I do PC builds for fun. My, okay, so for those of you who don't know, my name is Justin Roby. Let's, let's, let's just take a moment because I know we had a lot of people who are now still coming in. We're at almost 1,300 viewers right now. 1,300 concurrent. Okay, for those of you who don't know, my name is Justin Roby, uh, also known as Roby on Kenobi. I am a mixer partner. Yeah, because we, we got to let people know. I'm a mixer partner, um, and uh, I am also uh, the director of player voice for Halo, uh, for Halo Infinite. Um, so I actually work at 343. Um, for PCs, I just I'm a huge fan of PCs. I love building PCs, and this is a this is what I do for streaming. I play PC games, I play Xbox, and then I build PCs for you guys. This show is sponsored by the amazing people over at Newegg um, and Elgato. Uh, Newegg is the primary sponsor. They're the ones who give us all these parts and then support all do all the giveaways. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, that is that is a little bit about me, and that is and this show is Roby Tech. It runs every Wednesday from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. if we don't have tech problems. Uh, and uh, this show is dedicated to tech news. It's dedicated to PC gaming and PC building. And we are building the latest and greatest from AMD with their Ryzen 9 3900X and their 5700 XT. We will be giving a PC away. In fact, we just got finished. If you looked at that PC giveaway info, you would actually see a PC that we just gave away um, that we're gonna announce the winner for. And that was for the Apex Legends PC that we built um, on Power Builds. For those of you who remember Power Builds, this is Power Builds V2 because Power Builds was uh, unfortunately canceled by Mixer, and this is the new version of Power Builds, which is happening right now. A um, couple things, and that, and so that's that's kind of the that's kind of the the elevator pitch for the show. Yeah, Power Builds. To, yeah, we never. I, apparently, I would like to have I would like to have not any more problems because I feel like we keep having a ton of issues with tech issues here. Okay, so we got that done, that done. Next thing we need is our Corsair Commander Pro. So for those of you who don't know, Corsair Commander Pro, this is uh, kind of the brains of uh, the, of like all the stuff for the, for the, for IQ. Um, so this is where like, it allows you to do like sensor, heat sensors. Um, it has USB, so you can plug in additional USB slots. Um, but it also it's also a fan controller, so we'll be using six of our fans on this, and then we'll throw one up at the top. But that's what we're going to be running this next. So let's open this bad boy up. And I use these a lot. Um, and you know, if you have do thermal take or you do um, NZXT, they have very similar kinds of hubs. Um, that they have for their particular ones. Um, but we, we use a lot of Corsair. Wow, I should just drop that out like that. Good job, Roby. Yeah, we didn't we didn't need that to, wow, okay. Anyway, Corsair Commander Pro, it's ready to go. Hey, what's up, Amya? Yeah, it's a tactical drop, thank you, Ninja. And again, guys, we're going to, uh, we're gonna be doing another giveaway in about 20 minutes. And guys, we are four subs away, or 18 million sparks, or 250 in donos from giving away a $100 gift card. The subs are by far the closest. We wanted to 10 subs, we've already gotten six. You can be one of those four subs and help people get that four, that $100, help unlock that $100 gift card um, from New Age. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use these SSD mounts on here and do all of my all of my uh, Corsair Commander stuff on the right, and then that should look good. The only thing that I have to worry about is I hope it doesn't end up looking too fat. These, are, I mean, these are pretty fat. So when I close this, I hope it doesn't cause an issue with me closing the. Well, I mean, it's going to be one way or the other. Um, and then I don't have a lot of cables. There's not going to be a lot of fat cables 
honestly, because most of the cables are going to be down here at the bottom. So let's go back to the top down, just working through this as I plan this build. Um, what do I need? I don't need that. I need this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit. I'm committing, guys. Committing to my plan. I'm going to take these little rubber grommets out and commit to my plan of world domination, number one, or PC world domination. And then number two, making my, this is where I'm going to run my, where, thank you very much, dude. That's phenomenal. Thank you very much for the 200K, guys. We are now, uh, we just crested 2.39 million. Oh, four, so we're, we're on our way to that 5 million. When we get to 5 million, I'll go ahead and, if we do, if we get to 5 million, um, I'll do that $25 gift card early. If we get to, uh, so I'll do it whenever we get to 5 million, I'll do the, the $25 gift card um, guys, four subs. Can you be one of those guys? And remember, if you're a sub, you're also entered to win one of those amazing um, stream decks, a stream deck uh, for sub giveaways. And you're you're just supporting me, which I mean, how can you not want to do that? I'm pretty I'm pretty cool, I think. But we want to get to ten. We want to get those ten subs today, and we are so close. Four subs away, and then you guys can be and potentially win a one year. Xbox one year, uh, sorry, a hundred dollar new egg gift card. <sighs> there we go, getting it going. Okay, so there we go, we got that ready. We're gonna put this right here, and then we'll make this look all pretty um, with all of our fans and all that sort of stuff. So it should look, this should look really, I actually, I think I'm gonna really like the way this looks. Uh, I might wanna do, USB, how far do my USBs have to go? This one is plenty long. This one is plenty long, so I don't have to worry as much about that one. So we're hooking our USB up. There we go, I'll take care of that. And then these are plenty long in terms of going right there. Okay, yeah, so that should be fine. I feel like I'm, I'm in good shape. I, think, I, feel, I still feel like I'm making a good choice here with where I'm putting these. Oh boy! Do we have? Is it are, guys? You guys, we're like we had all these really amazing people at the very beginning. Do we have a couple more people who are willing to? Four more people to get that sub. Not that we're, we're and we're getting close to that five million. Five million is is on its way. Oh, that's awesome, Alpha. Uh, you should definitely pay attention to the at follow at Newegg or follow me at Roby One Kenobi. And you can see um, when we do those giveaways. And they happen once every uh, four to six, yeah, every, once every month. Um, I know we have another one coming up, which we'll be going to be doing. We did a, a theme, a PC themed built around uh, Metro Exodus. So, so you guys might be asking, hey, what are you doing right now, Mr. Roby, as you're building this PC? I'm currently mounting all of my fan controllers and lighting controllers. Um, so they look super nice and are off to the side here. We're taking over where you normally mount SSDs, but we're going to be putting our SSDs in a different location, um, which will be right here, which is where we're going to put our SSD for our 860 Evo. We're going to be putting in there. 60,000. Thank you for that, Jono. 2.9 million, guys. We're cranking through it. There we go. Okay. Turn this over. Ooh. Put that like... Ooh, that's... A little too close. We want to make sure if we end up adding more fans, if only ones add more fans. Okay, okay. Right, so there we go. Those are all done there. Okay. One thing we're going to do is we're going to. I'm gonna, as I kind of do this, I'm gonna start. What is this? That's power. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and zip tie, because again, I like to. Now that I'm doing cable management, I like to cable manage while I am. Uh, while I am building, it just makes a whole lot more sense. And and oh, oof. Okay, over three million guys cranking through that. There we go. We're getting we're getting it. We're doing it. Okay. So for these, just because I really don't want them to move, I'm going to put these into single channels, like so. Uh, so we'll do one right here. Like this. And again, this is real people ask, like some people ask, like, well, why why this? It's like because this makes the build look so much cleaner 
when you do stuff like this where again we're just making it look super nice and clean is really kind of the point right now so we're going to build and make these look nice and clean is what i'm working on so these are all of our rgb all of our rgb stuff all the rgb holders for the fans okay so there that's that straight that's straight and then we're gonna we're don't i don't know if i want to do this one yet so this is going to go like this okay and then these are my favorite there you go it's amazing how much cleaner that looks when you kind of do that okay so there we got a nice clean look off to the top there we've got our fan Oopsie, don't do that. Again, we want to make sure those are nice and straight. Like so. Just want it to look good. Okay. Okay, so let's hook up our fans here. Okay, so these are all of our these are not our these are all of our RGB headers and our power. I'm gonna hook up a lot of fans to this, like the to the one for the just a little bit easier when you do it this way. So we'll hook up some fans to these. So we don't have to worry about finding them. And then we'll hook up the rest down here on the commander. There we go. Three, now this right here, if you're asking what am I doing? So this is the fan header that comes off of the AIO. So it, gives me, it just gives me three places for the fan headers. So there's that, there's three hooked up there. And there's a total of seven fans. Okay, so we're gonna unhook one of these because this is a shorter one. So we'll hook that one up. There we go. And let's see what else we got here. Those are all things. Okay, so we gotta find more. So I've got three fans hooked up. And again, just like just like in the AI, just like for the RGB, these need to go serially, so you have to fill up all the slots. There's one. We're going to find the other ones here. There's two. There's another one right here. Here's three. So we have six fans hooked up, so we're missing one fan. We got one more fan cable we got to find. There's three. So one, somewhere around here is a lone fan cable that's power lone fan cable just sitting out hanging out waiting to get hooked up we just have to find said lone fan cable and these are all that's three there's six where are you mr seventh fan cable that's power 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 it's over here. I'm a big, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom's a big fan. That's pretty good, Tom. That's pretty good. Okay, that's power. Power, lots of power. Lots of SATA power will be in need of. Oh, oh, there it is right there. Number six. Okay, so all of our power is hooked up. Okay, so these are all of our fans are now hooked up. Um, we have, I'm trying to think of, I only other thing I need to do is hook these two things up. So these are the special cables. What these are going to do is these are going to control our, these are what control our L or our LEDs from our Commander Pro. So we're going to hook these up. So here's one box. This is our full box. This goes from here down to LED controller one, like so. And then we have one more right here. There we go. One more right here. Look at that, guys! Getting 3.3. You guys want to get that last one? We're we're close. Five. We're one, five million, and we'll give away another five million, and we'll give away and we'll give away twenty-five dollars, and then four subs. We're all the sub people. We had so many subs, and then they stopped subbing. Just need one more. We just need two more, uh, four more subs, and we'll give away a hundred dollar new A gift card. Four more subs. If you're thinking about making the plunge, not only do you get those access to those special, uh, those special. Uh, um, special uh, emojis you also get a special place in in the discord to chat with me directly um, and you get a you can win one of those uh those monthly giveaways you talk i talk a lot about computers savvy 
Um, okay, so we have all of this stuff here. Okay, right, so we got it all going on there. Uh, okay, now I think the key thing here is like this is all hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and run all of these things. I wanna I wanna make them look nice. So we got all the cables hooked up here. Okay. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. I want to make this look nice. This is a kind of the pro thing here. So I, I got the cables off to the side, so I'm going to separate this out, separate this out. These ones are kind of, ugh. Oh, okay. This is always the, this is, like, like I said, this is probably one of the slowest parts right here is just about getting this stuff to look nice now like remember this will be closed and you won't be able to see it but um i still want it to look good right so it's not it's not about it's just about kind of getting things into channels and then kind of like making it look look clean and so that just takes a little bit of time here um which is which will be great but it's just i just got to get it hooked up and i'm going to get these things that are kind of indifferent like the stuff that I know I want out of the way when I do it kind of clear. So that one I want out of the way. This I want out of the way. Let's put it underneath this like so. Okay. And this is just this is just strategic planning, so to speak, is really kind of what's happening here. Okay. So what can I do here? I can I can kind of clamp these together. I might want to go ahead and re-get this stuff all back together. I don't know if it was probably the best, but I want to kind of get this stuff back together to kind of get it cleaned up here a little bit. Um, but before I get too far into that, and here's here's one, th here's one thing I will teach you guys. Um, you do, for cable management, specifically with all the RGB and stuff like that, um, what I'll do is I'll, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect the PSU, the power cable, and then before I get too far into cable management, um, I'm going to make sure that um, I'm going to make sure that the PC actually works because if I don't if I don't do that, uh, then uh, what will actually end up happening is then you'll end up having to take apart all your cable management because you were so focused on that and then you you made it look good without making sure it was functional first. But we'll take care of that here in a minute. We don't need anything else in here. This is all stuff I can put away now. All stuff we can put away. Okay. Thank you very much, all those guys, for all those sparks, guys. Okay, there we go. Put this one away, and then we'll go ahead and take out our PSU. And then, essentially, we'll be at the home stretch for this PC, guys. We're getting super close. Um, I don't know if I need... I'm going to put these off to the side for now. And I'm going to take a swig of water. And then we're going to take out our, P our PSU. Okay. How's the PC looking? What do you guys think? Let's go to Camlink. Hello, Mr. Camlink. Okay. So here we are. We've got... Look at that. Look at that bundle of cables. we got a lot of cables. Thank you very much, King Garbage. Appreciate that. Yeah. Rat, rat's nest is to be sure. So what am I doing right now? We're going to put in our... We're going to put in our PSU... And I love, I love these PSUs. So we, in the, oh man, I kind of, trying to think of the best way to do this. We'll do this. We'll trust this. Fine. We're going to go top down. So here's the box. This is what we have inside the box. So in here, I've, I've, I've not, I, this is, check this out. See what's in here in this one. There's our ROG gamer stuff here. This is a bunch of, look, you got your, Cable ties inside here. So there's your cable ties. Um, looks like some some pretty stickers. Big, big, thick manual, which you'll get if you win this. And there is, this is all the cables. So that's cables and then your power supply PSU power cable. Okay, so there's that box. Seal that back up. It's a fun unboxing experience. Then on this side, ooh. Oh, okay, that was a little hard with this in here. This side, uh, oh my gosh, it's hefty. There we go. Open this up. 
And... Ugh. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty. And there is... I'll show it here in a second. Put this all the way here. That's a, that's a, it's a, I know you guys are not seeing this, but it's a very pretty PSU. There we go. Put that right there. That's right here. Close that up. There's our Thor. And then here is, check this out. There's our PSU. Pretty little, like pretty little, pretty little, it looks way smaller when you take it out of that box. Again, you've got your OLED display right here, um, modular power supply, so we got lots of options in terms of installing. Again, most of the stuff we have is extension, so we'll be running those here in a minute. Um, so yeah, there we go. Ugh. So let's take this out. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty. And then again, I think the thing, the best thing about it will be um, this will basically pop. So this is gonna go right down in here. And the cool thing about the Evo X is that uh, we just basically take it out and mount it pretty simply. But before we do that, ooh, whoops. Before we do that, which I didn't wanna do that at all, we want to plan our cables that we'll need. Plan our cables that we'll need. So there's our power supply right there. Okay, so for cabling. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, we got a lot of a lot of cables here. So these are these are all our SATA. Lots of SATA cables, which we'll absolutely need. And then these are all kind of our individually sleeve cables. And guys, I'm always looking to see if people have questions. So these are our sleeve cables. We got this, is this, oh. Oh, this has got an RGB header. What RGB does this have? Apparently you can control this with an RGB header. I think I have another RGB header on there, so I'll have to run that. This is this is why you do this before you cable manage. Okay, so there's all our, there's all our big cables. Hold on one sec. Uh, somebody's asking, where is my phone? I don't know what I do with my phone. I cannot find my phone. My wife is texting me, and she wants to know where I'm at, and I'm going to tell her. Oh, here it is. I'm blind! Hey, channel one, thank you very much for hanging out, guys. Welcome to the channel. This is Roby Tech. I'm going to take a moment and introduce them so I... Kevin's. Okay, there we go. So welcome channel one. Welcome channel one. Welcome to the uh, Roby Tech. This is a PC building show, a uh, PC building show um, where we build PCs. Uh, we also uh, give them away. Um, we are currently just about at 5 million sparks. We'll be giving away a $25 gift card and at four subs, we'll be giving away a hundred dollar gift card. So if you want to come hang out and support, there's a, there's some gift card stuff that's about to happen. We're currently building a PC built on AMD's new Ryzen 9 3900 X and their 5700 XT. We give away every PC that we build. So we just currently finished one for apex legends, which we just gave away, which will announce the winner. Actually, we should do that now because Hey, we're here and we should, uh, we should do the winner now. Uh, Blondie, can you take a screen just real quick? Uh, so we'll announce the winner. Um, we'll announce the winner right now for the person who won the PC. It's not if you follow, you get a PC. You have a follow, you have a chance of winning a PC. You do have to follow to be, they do get you entries. So let's, let's announce the winner for the Apex Legends PC right now. So we want to talk about who was the winner for the Apex Legends PC. We're we'll announce that now. Uh, where are we? Got to open Outlook because they sent it to me. Outlook. And then, like I said, yes, that was the other thing too. Is people had asked, yeah, yeah. We're, we're I know people are excited, so we're going to be announcing people going in there. Timeout. There's no timeout. The timeouts are going in there. 
Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, for me only. Whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, I sent you a message. There's the guy who won the other gift card. Um, uh, lots of gift cards. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, uh, winner for... The winner for the PC for this, for the Apex Legends, the Robitech Apex Legends PC. The winner was Dylan Smith from Pennsylvania. Dylan Smith from Pennsylvania, congratulations. You won the Apex Legends PC. Congratulations, Dylan. I don't know if you're here. If you are, I know that you're getting reached out to, um, and you are going to, you were the winner of the Apex Legends PC, which if you want to see what that PC is, you can click on that PC giveaway info, and you can see the link on that. Uh, so congratulations, Dylan. You were the winner. And uh, we are excited about that um, for those. Uh, let me check, guys, because I think the other two is, like, I wanted to check how close we are to the to the other giveaways. Sorry, I, I, I didn't do it right, so let me check where it was. So, uh, yeah, okay, guys, we are – sorry, I, I apologize. We are three subs, three subs away from giving away that $100 gift card as well. So – we're three subs away from giving away a $100 gift card, and then we are mere minutes away from giving away the $25 gift card. So that's where that's where things sit now. Okay. While we're doing that, so anyway, welcome to the show. That's what we're doing, Roby Tech. That's what's going on if, as you're hanging out in here. That's that's where we're at. Okay, we're going to start hooking up because I want to I get this PC finished. Oh, so much going on. Five million sparks. Okay, I said a five million. I said a $5 million. Let's do $5 million hype. We're going to give away a $25 gift card to Newegg. So we'll get that going. And you can choose either $25. You have to be in the channel, guys. So if you're outside of the channel, make sure you come back to the channel. You have to be in the channel to uh, win that gift card. So make sure that you're in there. Uh, exclamation point Newegg. Um, you got you to gotta basically, and again, uh, if we get to $20 million sparks, then we'll give away a $100 gift card or three more subs or uh, this is kind of where things are for that other one, because I know I've seen some people chat through here. While we're doing that, let's get this PSU squared away here. Bum, 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 awesome. Make sure you're in the channel, guys. You have to be in the channel to be eligible to win. You have to be in the channel. So if you're sitting on the channel one right now or one of those other things, you make sure that you pop over, because if you do not, you are not getting your entry in. So. This is your IDE. No, 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 no. Motherboard. There we go. Pick that up. So we'll need this and this. Okay, we'll need. I do know that the for the graphics card, we'll need a four pin and a three pin. This is CPU. We'll need one, we'll need two of two of these. I hope we have two of these. Okay. Hopefully they give us two. That'll be a problem. So find out real quick, won't we? Oh, good. They gave us... No, this is one. There's one CPU. Okay, there's one CPU. And then we need another CPU. Hopefully they gave us another CPU. We'll find out here. Uh, uh, PSU to... Okay, these are, these are graphics. Okay, so we're just... Right now what we're doing is we're planning all of our... We're planning all of our cabling. I think that's an RGB header, which is pretty crazy that they gave me one. So this is for, there's another CPU right there. Great. Okay. So there's another CPU car cable. Giveaway ending in 10 seconds, guys. I haven't done, sorry. Uh, you missed this morning, Josh. So everybody, Josh, everybody say, can I get a shout out to, uh, I don't even know how to say that. Nurskirkers, Nurskirkers. But anyway, Josh, Josh is the guy, uh, my cohort in helping make sure that the show is running on a weekly basis. Dude, my morning for this show was ridiculous, let me just say. And then these are, this is a dual, so this is what we'll need for the, this is the one that we'll need for the graphics card. So this is a graphics card, again, this is a dual one, but we're running extensions. So you can see this is two, so we'll be running an extension off of these. So that takes care of that. So that's all of our main stuff. So all of our main stuff is on our motherboard. Okay, sorry. I thought this is, yeah, this PC is definitely nice. And then the last thing we need, which is always fun, is a lot of SATA. 
And then it's always fun to figure out which SATA we can use. And like we got Molex. So we'll need at least one for our SSD that's going to go right here. Which if we had a single one, that'd be nice. But they always seem to get, in, which is, I'm, I'm fine that they don't. So we're going to give one first. So we're going to do, we're going to need one that has a ton. This one has, that's Molex. So that's not going to help me at all. Here we go. This should be, that's a lot of SATA. There we go. Okay, so here's our SATA ones. These are, wait, whoa, 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 what do you mean non-gaming systems? These are definitely gaming systems. Hey, Razorblade, you can basically just do the exclamation point PC, or you can, or you can uh, click on that build info link at the bottom, and that will give you all that information. Okay, so we're giving, we're, we're, right now we're plugging in all the SATA. So there's one, two, three, four, five, there's five just off of the that doesn't even include the that doesn't even include the the hard drive and stuff. This one's going to be for our hard drive. Do we have one more? I have another. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hook this one up too. So we're just going to have a lot of we're going to have every SATA plugged in. And this is running no, this is not running a 2080 Ti. This is running a uh, this is running a uh, 5700 XT. This is the new in uh, new AMD, uh, AMD's new newest graphics card. Okay, so there is our these are this is our our power supply, basically all ready to go here. It's got all of the the major cables, so we got a lot of chunk that we got to basically use for this. Uh, these are all basically uh, these are all basically SATA power cables, and then you've got your motherboard. Uh, these are your CPU, and then your single one for your graphics cards, which you're going to run off two extensions. Uh, to make it look pretty. So you can put all that away. It looks like the other thing too that was included with this is um, the R addressable Aura RGB, which I'm going to hook up because I have another 5 volt RGB header on the motherboard. And why wouldn't you? Uh, you want to make sure you can do everything. So we'll make sure that we can make that red and make it pretty. So we're going to do the addressable RGB header as well. And that is right here. Let's unplug that. Put that in there. Usually these are done via USB, but I can understand that this, given that it's RS, would do it this way. Okay, so we got our RGB header is plugged in as well. Okay, so everything there is hooked up. Kind of push this out of the way. And now we gotta hook, we gotta plug it in to the actual. Did these guys give us? Yeah, they did. Okay. And then one of the things I gotta get out of this little white bag here is PSU screws. So there's our PSU screws. Okay. So, next stop is taking this off. There we go. And then running all of this through like what the They did not do, they did this huh they did this so you can't do it the right way because I don't want the fan blowing up. I want the fan blowing down. Why would you do it this way? Okay, well, I guess this is what we get. I guess the power, I guess they don't want the, if you want the L, the uh, OLED on the right side, you can't do the fan the right way. That's kind of strange. I don't know why they did it that way. I guess you can look from the back, but why would you do that? I don't know. I guess they expect you to basically look at it from the back, but I mean, like, that doesn't even make any sense. Okay. So people are probably wondering, why am I upset right now? And I'm upset. Oh, Rem, you look. You're broke now. That's not good. Oof. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rem. As always, it's always a pleasure. Okay, so you're probably wondering, it's like, why is Roby upset? I'm upset because what I wanted to have happen was I wanted to be able to... So on this, the fan for this is at the top. And usually you want the fan blowing out through the bottom. Now what they did, they decided is that they're... El they're, they're, they're well, I'm, st I'm just going to do it, right? I'm, I'm just... Because I want the, the thing the right way, but it's just definitely not the right way to do this. So, okay, but okay. It's upside down, but there's no way to actually have the, okay, whatever. I can't, I just can't bring myself to make that happen. 
So they're, they're, they're cool OLED, which you want to use. The cool OLED is uh, on this side, and I want it to be on the other side so you can see it. But if I was to do that, then the fan would be pointing up. And so that's bad for heat sinks. I, I dude, a blink. I haven't. Yeah, that's not right. Exactly. The the that should be coming up the other way. But right now the wiring is bad because I'm not done with the build, dude. I haven't finished all the build. So what I'm what I'd like to do is I'd ha like to have the LED coming out of the back. But in order to do that, the fan it would be going would be blowing air into the case, which, I mean, not a big deal, but, like, you don't really want that. Can anyone tell me what is the... Oh, hold on, what's it? Um, hold on, sorry, dude, I'm going to close this out. Did they design with the intent of having the fan go up into the case? I don't, like, if they did, I mean, like, if you look at this, yes, that's the way it kind of looks, but I don't know why, I mean, it's... it's. Uh, I'm going to do it because I want the look, I want the aesthetics, but... I just don't understand why they did that. That's not how you're supposed to do it. So it just feels like it's backwards. And now this is not coming out the way it's supposed to. Oh, oh so that's why I'm stuck on this. Okay. So I'm going to flip this over, even though I don't want to, and run it this way. Because I want the LED on the front. So blah, blah, I guess. Okay. It's still fine. I mean, it'll still mount. And we'll look at, well, I'll test the thermals. And then if I need to switch it, I will. Not as big of a deal. Okay. So we got that. Let's make sure those are tight. And then we're going to put on these. Whoa, dude. Captain Monkey with the sub. We are now two subs away. Well, thanks, noobs. I appreciate it. We are now two subs away from basically winning, uh, from giving away a $100 gift card. Two subs, baby. I'm giving away a $100 New Egg gift card. Okay, we're just putting in the PSU now. I don't know why they did it this way, but they did. I'm not going to complain. There's still enough airflow thing for it to blow through. It's just, luckily I've got a 140-watt exhaust. I just need to figure out why they decided to do it that way. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, just putting in the last screws here PSU is now installed minus this one screw PSU is almost installed because I got one screw to get in there we go Okay, PSU's installed. We're going to tighten this bad boy up. Okay. Look at that. Look at all these cables. I feel so happy. Um, this will keep out. This will keep out. These are both. Big thing here is just making sure that our... Okay, so now the real, the real goal right now is to make sure that we, we um, run... We test that everything works. That's really kind of the point right now. Before we get too much into doing all of the doing all of the power and stuff like that, I mean, in, in finishing and making sure it looks all pretty, um, we want to make sure that um, everything is in. This is, seems like this should go like this, but no, oh, that's weird. Uh, where's our other CPU? <coughs> there should be two of these. There's one. I'm missing a CPU. That that one is gonna. This one's gonna go up and split like I need it to. So this is gonna go up like this, like so, and go into the top like a stealthy, like a stealthy beast. That goes like that. Okay. These go out of the way because I don't need them. That is another RGB header which I don't know why they gave me two. Um, that is if this is what I was looking for right here. And here is our other CPU cable. That is for plugging into this. Okay, so CPU is hooked up now. 
of CPU power. Run this through like this. Hide that. Okay. And we're going to run one of these. Not both, just one. And we'll do the other one. We'll run one of these up through here. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Now for these, we have a couple things we got to run through the MOBO again. Okay, so we got to run. Uh, no, they don't get frustrating. I think it's just the good thing is, is like I know where I know where most of the stuff goes. Okay, so this goes up in through here, like so. And that's that'll take care of that. So push this through here. The other thing I need is not that. Yeah, I want this up here, okay? And then somewhere around here, I want this also. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oops, I plugged in. Dang it, did I really just do that? Roby, what are you doing? You totally, you doofus. Okay, well, I made one mistake. Uh, that's, that's, they didn't give me two RGB headers. They gave me one RGB header, and that RGB header I just didn't plug in the right one. And now I have to do this blind, which is always super fun. Luckily, I haven't hooked everything up yet, so it's always good. Okay. So let's take this out and actually hook up the right thing. Such language. This is a Ry so Ryzen 3900X. Oh, with an RX 570. That's what you have, huh? Oh, you just did an AMB to build. Let's go. Okay, Sir Blue 21. You asked what I'm building right now. You can basically. Uh, you can check. Uh, you can check in uh, the. Oops. You can check by hitting exclamation point PC. If you do exclamation point PC, you can actually see what's being built right now. Or you can click on the build info link down below. That also has it as well. Both of those have all the info that you need and want on said PC. Okay, so what we're doing right now, we're gonna rehook this up. Let's see if we can do it blind, because I don't wanna take the whole thing out. Question is, which way did it go? Ooh, okay. And people are asking, what are you doing right now, Ruby? I am hooking up your, I'm trying to blindly hook up Oh, look at that. Oh man, that was that was that was good luck right there. Okay. Blindly hook up the 5 volt <coughs> RGB header <coughs> that we need for the Aura stuff. Okay. Okay, there's that. So now we need all these. And this is all of our power. So I want as many of these down at the bottom as humanly possible. So this one will go here. Like so. There we go. And then we have another one right here that we're going to hook up. And it'll go on the very bottom one, which was, I didn't hook up to the very bottom one, did I? Oh, I did. I thought I didn't. I guess I did. Okay. So we're going to hook this one up. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Let go. Okay. So this one is going to hook up into this one. Well, we're going to need more of these. Okay. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that this I would only need one, but I need two, which is why I hooked those up anyway. There's that. This is the power for the case RGB. There's that. And then let's hook up these two. This is the power for lighting node one. And this is the power for lighting node two. Okay, so there's all the power for all of the cables. Okay, that's all hooked up. And then we have one more. That is for the MOBO. And then this one. This is the one that I want. And this one will be for the AIO. Okay, so the AIO cable. Thank you very much for all of those follows, guys. Again, we're two subs away, and we'll give away a $100 new egg gift card. Okay, there's that. Okay, so there's all the power is now hooked up. We need to hook this up to this up to kind of keep this on the top. This will get hooked up to this, like so. Okay. 
And the only other thing I need to do, which I haven't done yet, and then we'll be finished with most of this, is we need to hook up our, need to hook up our SSD, which is still missing. So we'll hook that up real quick. Oh, can we? So here we have our 860, 200, we got our 860 Evo, two terabyte. This is our, uh, basically our um, game drive, our game OS drive. So that is what we're working on right now. We're gonna hook this up. And then the other thing too is like here pretty soon, we should make sure that everything turns on. There we go. So opening this bad boy up. Oh, look at that. There's our there's our 860 Evo. We're gonna put there, and we're gonna hook it up right here. So we're gonna take one of these slots. So you just move these little rubber grommet here. And then let's go back to top down. And this is gonna go right here. But just before we do that, we're gonna plug this in. Plug that in like so. Wow, okay, we're one sub. One sub away, guys. One sub away from giving away a $100, $100 gift card. One sub. You could be that guy, that that guy who rescues the rescues everyone else and allows everybody to enter to win a hundred dollar new egg gift card. There we go. Awesome. Okay, there we go. And then last thing that we're gonna put here is this. And this is also going to go, this is going to go up here somewhere. So we'll figure that out here in a minute. Okay. Let's go ahead and mount this drive real quick. Should be easy. Fantex, little mounts here a couple little mount screws we're gonna mount this real quick oopsie that sounded good What the heck? Why is it not mounting? Well, that must not be the right screw. Okay. That's surprising. It's usually the screw that we use. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, I, I try to make it look hot. Those are not the right screws. I need, that must be this one. One, one, two, three, four, five. Everybody go left. And there we go. That's it, man. Way to go, guys. Holy crud. Another sub. Was that a sub? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to see it get booped up. We're booped up. We're going to see it. We're definitely going to see it uh, get hooked up. Well done, subbers. Captain Monkey, and then it looks like Crash Rop was our last sub. We'll be giving away a $100 gift card. $100 gift card in just a few minutes yeah the hope the hope is to watch it get booted we're gonna we're gonna test that in just a couple minutes we're just finishing up the little last parts here we're gonna test all the power we're super close to that we got to put in install the graphics card we're just getting it to the point where we can get there we're gonna be running a little bit 30 minutes past just because the show started 30 minutes late Okay. There we go. Okay. So now we just need to figure out where our SATA goes, which is right up here somewhere. So we'll look at that. Okay. So what we're going to do, just to be funky, is we're going to just close all this, knowing it's ugly. We're just going to close it all right now, given that everything is hooked up. Ooh, snap. This is not going to close. Ooh. <laughs> I hope it's going to close. Uh, yeah, we're going to close all this. 
knowing it's not the prettiest right now, but it will be when I'm done. I'm trying to see what this is hitting. Yeah, this has got all sorts of stuff that I'm going to have to get out of the way here. Yeah, okay. That's it's, This stuff is going to have to stay along the side here. Shoving as much into the bottom as possible. Okay. Again, what we're working on is just getting it to the point where, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is grab my Asian horse card, cables here that we're missing. So out of the way. Yeah, dude, thank you for all the guys. Thank you for this amazing support. We need a four and a three. Thank you for all the support and everything you guys have done. You guys have been absolutely stunning. It, you guys are making me you guys are making me feel loved. I can definitely feel the love tonight, for sure. Thank you very much for those spark donations, getting me to five million. Uh, for the what is essentially we've gotten ten subs today, plus the five dollar dono that's helping me get there. I think ooh, it looks like we might have gotten another one. So yeah, and dude, Grassroth with the with the spark with the with the uh, with the ember drop as well. You guys are on fire. Okay, I'm gonna run that through here in a minute. We're gonna run these, but there we go. We have everything basically ready at this point in time to turn over. You guys haven't seen the front of the build for a while. What is this stuck on? This one is stuck on. I know we don't have. There we go. Okay, that's down. All right, that'll just work for now. It's just it's just to get it so I can turn it over and finish the stuff that needs to be done in the front. That's kind of where we're at. Okay, turn this bad boy over and finish what's left. Ugh. Okay, so SATA port. I'm gonna get that hooked up. And there's our. Drive. Takes care of that. Close those off. Close that stuff up. Okay. Another 5 volt addressable RGB header. It's up there. Okay. We'll have to run that up. That's all I have to go up here. Okay, so we'll fix that here in a minute. USB. Why are you not loose? Ugh. USB stuck on something. Okay, where are you, USB? Crud. Okay, this. USB is through. Ooh. We got a lot of other stuff through at the same time, which we didn't want, but we'll fix that here in a minute. It's just about making it pretty here in a few minutes, but dude, lots of cable management still needs to be done here. What we're doing right now is we're just hooking up the other stuff that has to go on the front panel to make this PC work. Okay, USB's hooked up. Let's get this, let's get this right here. Not the best angle for you guys right now, but I need to run this addressable RGB up here. And then hook that up. Okay. Okay. So there we go. This is our addressable RGB, another 5-volt addressable RGB slot. This is going to hook up right here. Sorry about that. There we go. So now our addressable RGB for our PSU is hooked up. Okay. Now, this can stay down here for now. I'm not worried about that. That's all hooked up. That's all hooked up. We'll make these all tight here in a minute. Okay. This is, there's our, there's our, ooh. I should have done the peel. I'm going to do the peel. 
Let's even get the peel going here. Thank you for all that stuff, guys. Thank you very much. We're getting close to the 1600. We're just working on getting this done. You guys have been awesome. D uh, we'll do the we'll do the one year we'll do the thing very quick. Thank you very much for the talented stuff. For the one saying I'm talented. I'm trying to get this thing with half a brain. I would have done this before, but I didn't. And now, no. You might be asking, what are you trying to do right now, Ruby? And what I'm trying to do is get the little plastic part that I have on here that is protecting this peeled. I'm hoping I can get... Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay, got it, got it, got it. There we go. Okay. Whew. Uh, there we go. Boom. Okay, peel. Okay. Now the other thing that I need to hook up is up here. Grab it. Yep, this right here. Uh, come on. And this is just so I can hook up the last. Okay, power to the, okay. There we go, so now CPU power is all done. I have to run some cabling up there. Okay, CPU power is all done. Now the last thing we want to do is, we're almost done. Last thing on the, the menu, so to speak, guys, the last thing on the menu is A, we got to give away the $100 gift card, which we'll do in just a second. The last thing also on the menu is putting the graphics card in. So we're going to do the graphics card in just a second. Graphics card. So let's go ahead and go to the cam link. Let's unbox this bad boy. So pretty, so pretty. Look at that. And boom, it's ready. There we go. There's our graphics card right now, our beautiful 5700 XT Radeon card. We're gonna be putting in here. Let's go back to top down, oops. Before we can put that in, we gotta find our, we gotta find our, our, okay, let's, I'm being a little crazy here. Okay. Thank you for all those follows, guys. What are we at? 16, over 16,500 follows. We have 1,500 concurrence right now. Put this away. It's going to kind of... And another sub. Jeez, you guys are killing it. Killing it with those subs, guys. Thank you so much for all those subs. And Okay, now I need my screwdriver so I can unscrew some drivers. Okay. Luckily, I have another one. When you win it, win it first, you don't succeed, you find another screwdriver. It's Excalibur, for those of you who watch Power Builds. Excalibur is my, this is my strong magnetic one that I like. Okay. So we're gonna put in this 5700 XT and then make the cables look good. And we should be good to go. It looks like next week on our show, we will be spending a lot of time cable managing because that is fun. That is a pretty card. I love the way that card looks. There we go. Radeon in. Boom. Like a boss. 
I know, Buckster. I am too. I'll check. It's got a lot of room on the top, but dude, why would they do that? I mean, like when you have things like this, it's like, why would you stick the the graphic? Why would you stick the OLED to where you can't see it? I just don't know why you do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're good there. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure that these go in correctly and put on our shroud, our PSU shroud extensions real quick. So again, to make the card look pretty pretty, make sure your shroud looks nice. Your uh, sorry, your sleeve cables look nice. So we're gonna put on our cable combs. It always makes cables look super good. There's one. Usually you want to put four on each one. Oop, wow, that was me drinking apparently. Okay, there's two. And you ask why four? Because you really want them to go, like you want it to cable, you want the cable combs to manage the shape of the cables all the way into kind of the PSU shroud down here, which this is called a PSU shroud. So you want to basically just make sure there's lots so it looks super clean all the way down to the bottom. So that's why I always add four, because then you just you know you have lots of support and you can put one just below. So that's why I'm putting in four. And sometimes they go fast and sometimes they do not. Just depends. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, there's three. Do one more. And there we go, and this is four. Fourth one. Thank you very much for all those follows, guys. Okay, there we go. So we got four now. What we'll do is we plug that in. We have this nice little thing right here. We're going to shove it down like that. And then you basically use these to make the cables look extra nice. And you have, like I said, you put one kind of below the shroud like so, right? So it basically will keep that shape the entire time. Okay, so there's that one. We just need to do the three one. Three one right now. Oop, see. Jeez, Ruby. See if you can do it. Thank you for that, Mr. Greasy. Well, some people don't like to use cable combs. So, and then some like you can get pro versions, uh, Rune Mason. You can get pro versions, Rune, that do that stuff too. Some of you asked about guys. We'll get we'll get to that. I know, I know. I'm I'm I want to get to the point where I want to while I'm doing the last part, I'll I'll start the giveaway for the hundred gift card. And you want to if you're in here. Oh yeah, I guess you guys all are right because at this point in time you're just. If you're in here and you're in the you want to be in the channel and you want to be following if you want to be eligible to win that gift card. And then remember, as a sub. You're also eligible to win that sub giveaway, which we're going to be doing announcing at the end of the month. And you'll either, either win a stream deck or a one year of Xbox Game Pass. In this case, you'll win. In this case, you'll either win a hundred dollar new a gift card, or you can walk away with um, some Game Pass. It's up to you. I'll give you away two years of Game Pass or a hundred dollar gift card, whichever you prefer. Okay, so there we go. We got four there. Shove that down. Hook this up like so. And then we want one right here. Oops, wrong, sorry. Want this one down here. That one right there. Goes down. And goes to here. And you want to make those nice and you want to make sure they look even between. There we go. Okay. That's it. Graphics cards hooked up. PSU's hooked up. Everything is powered. Santa's hooked up. 
So now at this point in time, turn this around because the back looks like poo poo right now because I haven't done all the cable management. We can turn this around, go to cam link. And then all we want to do right now is pull these through. And then all uh, the last part of this whole thing will be just about finishing the cable management is the last, basically the last bastion of this build. Okay, and then this one is right here. Okay, everything is hooked up. Everything is powered. Everything is powered. Everything is ready to go. We just then we'll cable manage once we know that all the power and stuff is in. But there is the PC. Completely done. Okay, before we do this, before we turn it on and we do the giveaway, ooh, okay, let's push this down a little bit more. Give that a little bit of love there. Make sure those are nice and spiffy. Okay. Okay. So we'll start the giveaway in just a second for a hundred dollar new a gift card. Hundred dollar new a gift card right there that you could possibly win. We're just putting kind of getting things out of the way here. Ooh, another another dono from BRB got a glide. Thank you so much for that dono. That's amazing. So there we go, dude. Lots of them. Just be sure to be followed. That eligible looks great. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we got it all done. Let's, this is the moment of truth. Does it work is the question. The question on everybody's mind. Because after this, all we got to do is cable management. Yeah, so much subbing, guys. Thank you so much for all those subs. Getting close to 6 million on the Sparks. So this is the last time where Sparks are worth anything. <laughs> I think it's the. It's going to be going to a... It'll just help with embers, which is great. You know, just making it more... Making it more real there. Okay. Putting that in. Okay. Should all be hooked up. We've checked all the power. It's like PC number 30 or 40. A lot of PCs I've built. Okay. Power is in. Turn it on. You see any lights or anything? Oh, I see lights. You guys see lights? I see power lights. You see power. Boom. There you go. Dude, gas hop with the with the things. There we go, guys. Our PC is on. And there it is. We have it now. We still have to do cable management and all that sort of stuff, but the PC itself is done. There are nine fan uh, sorry, seven fans. Yeah, seven fans, lots of RGB. Look, you can see how many watts that we're pulling right now. I hear it, yeah, like there's there's some I can hear that AIO going. Look at that, look at that awesome uh OLED. I hear audio. There's some audio something or other. Oh. Ow. Just trying to see which I think that's the pump. The pump's a little loud, but yeah. In terms of, there we go. It's like it's still booting. We got, look at that, like 142 watts it's using right now. So like in terms of overall look and stuff, very pretty. There you go. Uh, Ichin, you can click on, you can hit exclamation point PC, and you can see how much the PC actually, like what the what the cost is. Um, oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's quite up. So it's like basically run through the pump thing. Okay, so let's start that new egg hundred dollar gift card or six or one or two years of Game Pass. You can choose which one you want. That's the that's the giveaway going right now. Thank you so much for all the subs for unlocking all that stuff. So this is a hundred dollar Newegg gift card. There we go. Starting giveaway. Newegg, are you still here? 
There we go. New eggs going in there. But there we go. A Radeon build for the for the love. Now the next thing, you know, all I got to do left, all that's left is just to basically make sure that uh, make sure that uh, the uh, g getting the case closed, <laughs> running, uh, doing cable management, and then getting the case closed. And we're at six million, six million sparks. Can we get to four million? I'd like to work on this stuff. Let me check while that's going on here. Um, uh, maybe. Um, okay, so here's the deal, guys. So for those of you guys who don't know, this is uh, Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show that's dedicated to PC building, PC news, and PC gaming. Um, we our show is every Wednesday from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Um, you guys are watching the final episode of the Radeon build. So uh, we're next week. Our plan is either to start a new build or play. We might be playing. Uh, we might be playing up. Um, we might be playing in uh, in uh, on this case for the next couple hours. We'll just have to see. Um, when we have another giveaway going on there. Um, there's a couple things. I, I, I know that I've been plugging this a lot. Guys, next week, I am climbing and summiting Rainier. If you have it within your heart to just help out with a little bit of dono to help with some of the gear and the costs, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, I know that I, I, you know, after this, like next week it goes away because the next, like literally Wednesday next week, I, I summit. So lots going on in terms of that sort of stuff. Uh, super appreciate everybody for basically hanging out. We're going to, what, what we're going to do here while once this, this donation, this thing is done, um, I'm going to go to doing some cable management, just making the back look clean, make it look pretty. And then essentially the PC is done. We'll put it back together and turn it back on. So yeah, there's lots of, lots of stuff, um, going on. So yeah, this, we got some, thank you very much major for the, uh, for the, the climb. Yeah. We got some, lots of hype as we basically go through this and thank you so much for all of those sparks. Hoping that by the time we get finished with the with this part, we can uh, yeah that rock animation is pretty rad. The whole thing whole thing looks really good. The case is not put back together yet. Um, we still got to put the case together. Um, we'll be doing that here shortly. We uh, we gotta we gotta uh, we gotta finish building. There's still some cable management left. That's the last thing that's left for this build. Is just to spend a little time uh, and zip tie some stuff up and just make the build look finished. So that's the last part of it. Yeah, and then don't forget, guys, you will be eligible to win this PC. So that's the other thing that you will you will get the chance to is, of course, we're going to be doing it in red and white theme. We'll get it all redded out and stuff like that so it'll look super nice and pretty. But, yeah, we got lots of stuff. Congratulations, Mad Dog 67196. Oh, who won the last one? I didn't, I didn't write down the winner of the last one. So uh, let me whisper here. Congratulations, dog. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, let's 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 put on a little music because we're at like kind of the boring time now. We got to do some cable management. So we're gonna put on a little music here, um, and let's keep going. Put on a little music here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna go. So we've we've done our hundred dollar gift card. Uh, we still have one more. We still have one more. If we get to five, if we get to, we're gonna go to cable management. So I'm gonna shut this off, and we're gonna basically go to cable management at this point in time.
use the Fantex stuff to kind of keep them all nice and smooth and clean too, as best we can here.
Uh, right here, it is 9.48 in the morning. So it's not, it's pretty early. Sorry for the, sorry for the issues.
is that? Hey, that's why it doesn't work. I figured it out. I found out why. Hold on. I found it's not powered. You're ready for power? Because you need It's basically running USB only. So there we go, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I just want to give a couple minutes for questions. If people have some things that they want to work through or have any questions before we go in there. Um, we will be giving this one away in about six weeks. You can see that. You can check out that OLED, huh? See the OLED on here? It's like basically showing stuff. It's pretty rad. Um, but do we have any questions? Anything else? I try. I try to, very, I try to make it look very clean, guys. That's the, that's the hope is making it look clean. Well, like I said, the, the colors and the theming isn't finished. We're also going to be adding some stuff to the, to the uh, 
Can you briefly scan the parts in the PC for me? When you scan, okay, so uh, just a reminder of what's in here. We've got a Radeon uh, RX, uh, a Radeon F, a Radeon 5700 XT graphics card. We're running a Ryzen 9 3900X. Uh, we've got 32 gigs of Dominator Pro, 3200 megahertz uh, Corsair RAM. We're running a Crosshair 8 uh, ROG motherboard. We're running a Ryogen, a ROG Ryogen 360 AIO. And then our power supply is the 851 ROG Thor power supply. We're running a uh, Asus uh, NVMe Gen 4 SSD, two terabytes. We've got a two terabyte uh, 860 Pro, 860 Evo uh, SSD for games. And then finally, our sleeving is managed by Asian Horse. And then the case is the Fantex Evo X case. So, yeah. And it's around $3,000. Hey, Sierra, yeah, and if, and again, I am also open for uh, I'm also open for commission. So if you're interested in having me p build a PC here on the stream for you, um, like for instance, next Saturday, this Sunday, I'll be building a PC for Monster Age.